the last uh, part of the this presentation we will briefly explain what are the solutions that uh, can be put in place by Techim or what are the products that can be provided by Techim for offline testing. For the services, we are talking about offline PD test, online PD test without sensor, sensor installation and commissioning, online PD test with permanent sensor and data analysis. Also remote PD test. Offline PD test is normally performed during outages. It's not our, let's say, preferred solution because of the reasons we have seen in the beginning, but we understand that it's a quite standard requirement and we can provide this kind of, uh, of, uh, <clears throat> of solution. Normally we do sensitivity check first by injecting a charge into the sensor connected to the winding. Then we made uh, voltage injection on the first readings. We have to stand to wait uh, the standby time to extinguish eventual transient that we always see because it's a very cold machine in this case. And then we complete the reading session with the further measurement and we make our evaluation. Normally this activity takes uh, eight hours, I would say one, one day. In the case of time limitation, we had also to make uh, this uh, test in a very lower uh, time uh, interval, but in this case we are affected by some of the transient uh, that we have at the beginning of the voltage injection. If I can, uh, let's say, put my personal opinion in this case is that uh, sometimes uh, an offline test costs uh, more than a sensor installation and an online test. So, and uh, it's just a once in a lifetime offline test. If uh, you, if I go, if I come to your office, to your plant, I test with my equipment with my sensor, with my acquisition unit, I will get some of the readings, but will be harder to compare with the next, uh, with the next uh, service company. I always prefer at least to have a permanently installed sensor. Uh, our acquisition unit doesn't have any problem with uh, two nanofarad, one nanofarad capacitive coupler, 80 picofarad as well. We can always take a measurement from with all the different sensors and make a comparison in the generator uh, insulation condition. Second solution, online PD test without sensor. Always an outage is required. We install temporarily the sensor and then uh, everything is connected back into position and uh, the generator or the motor is keep running another time. We don't need an external power supply for the voltage because we use the normal line voltage of the rotating machine. We study the normal working condition of the asset and it's quite inexpensive compared to the sensor installation or the offline test. It's a cheap solution. It's, uh, I mean, I don't sincerely, let's say, uh, suggest this solution. I prefer always to have a permanent sensor installed, but it's something that can be cheap, in, cheaply uh, in one day. Then we have sensor installation and commission and recommissioning services. Uh, these are our normal activities. So we sell the sensor and we offer together with the sensor the installation. We identify the best sensor position. We design eventual uh, installation frames like the gray, green one that you can see in the bottom picture. We study the derivation box position and cable trunking solution and we make the installation. Normally it takes uh, six to eight hours from the beginning to the end. And then we have a sensor and signal cable commissioning uh, test to check that everything is okay, the sensitivity is good, uh, there is no mismatch in the faces that believe me it's something that happens especially with sensor that you don't know uh, who is told. And uh, we also provide uh, services for uh, sensor recommissioning. Let's say that uh, in your facility, you already have some sensor. Hopefully, we don't have any issues uh, with the, by using this sensor with our equipment. But in order to be sure that everything is made properly, we perform again the sensor commissioning. We check the sensitivity, we check the facing, and we check uh, the uh, signal cables. Those are normally the weakest point of the installation, especially if the cable is uh, RG58 compared to RG223 or RF400. This activity is uh, very useful even to find, to make a zero point and to start a good uh, PD monitoring for the next years, to have a first indication 
everything is correct and we can go on and we don't find uh, bad surprises in the future like taking measurement with the broken uh, sensor or taking measurement with broken signal cables the very standard uh, service that we provide uh, is an online spot test we use existing sensor we have derivation boxes we connect to our portable acquisition unit and we take the measurement it's inexpensive and quick easy to perform no output is required consistent data trend because now we are using always the same pd sensor and uh, it's very popular and it's actually a very good uh, feedback for the asset managers to get uh, information from the generator without big efforts we also provide data, anal data analysis services we have a customer that uh, for example perform on their own the acquisition and they send out the data we have a customer who have uh, acquisition unit permanently installed and they can download the data from the acquisition unit and send it to, to us and we also have a solution with a portable instrument that is basically designed to make uh, good quality uh, PD measurement autonom autonomously without skilled operator. This uh, unit is called Alpha and it came out of our service department experience because we have seen that uh, for us it's uh, quite, let's say, easy to take proper PD measurement because it's something that we do every day, but in many cases, uh, asset managers perform PD tests once every six months. So it's hard to keep in mind all the information that we need to perform a good PD test. And with the Alpha instrument, there are few, uh, let's say, several um, modalities to acquire the data autonomously without any interaction with the operator to get uh, a very good data set to be analyzed. analyzed. We also provide, especially recently, especially during the COVID time, remote online PD test. So we can use uh, an acquisition unit connected to a laptop that is then connected to uh, a modem or even a routing mobile and thanks to software like Dropbox we can connect directly, directly from our headquarters and perform the measurement um, directly or uh, another solution is that uh, we have uh, our instrument connected to a 4G modem with a public IP and we can uh, thanks to, to we can make uh, basically a direct connection to the unit itself both these uh, two uh, solutions, uh, they have a series of advantages. Mm, it's easier to, for the logistics of the test. It's easier, it's also better for the customer that doesn't want to, let's say, take a part of the acquisition, just want to have a very good result with a proper acquisition. And it's uh, thanks to the new technologies, especially with the 4G and the uh, Dropbox, uh, and sorry, sorry TeamViewer, uh, viewer uh, application they are very let's say comfortable and easy to be put on in place last uh, chapter then we will go to the question and answer section the tech-in product solution we have sensor kits we have acquisition unit we have software tools uh, accessories and permanent monitoring you can find all the information that you want in our website I will just briefly list them in the next slide and especially for generators we will have uh, uh, normally we call them motor coupling kit because they are very low um, voltage normally characterized by electrical motors 7 kV rated capacitive couplers very small sensor we can sell them normally in three phase kit they come with uh, everything uh, necessary for the installation so high voltage connection to the bus bar and uh, uh, coaxial cable connection for the permanent installation and derivation box in the end. Same kind of sensor, but for a different application are the PD couplers family for generators. Normally we have identif identified following the ESC specs, uh, three uh, voltage level, 12, 17, and 24. They, all, they are all characterized by one nanofarad capacitance, as well as the seven kV sensor. Ah, let me just point out this. Uh, if you have seen in the past that uh, there are, let's say, uh, some uh, customer, some OEM that have uh, two nanofarad, some OEM like us, they use one nanofarad, some of them use 80 picofarad. And uh, 
these are normally oriented to the acquisition units. Mm, let's say that if I have a certain uh, working principle, it will be better for me to use uh, the ATP Kefarad. If they have another bandwidth instrument, it will be okay for me to use the two nanofarad. But uh, what with our approach with the time frequency map, uh, there is no more problem on the uh, capacitance. It's not used the sensor as a filter, but it's used to get all the information, and then in case filter the information with the TF map or hardware filtering. So our solution is, uh, let's say, more, uh, it's able to work with all of this. And uh, there are not big, uh, let's say, <clears throat> Uh, variation. The variation is more relative. If I have, if I'm using a two nanofarad or one nanofarad, I can see a five percent magnitude change. If I use eight picofarad, such solution will be higher. But I have a different frequency range of the sensor. Anyways, all of these solutions are okay with our acquisition unit, and we can use uh, our sensor accordingly. Then. Field testing instrument, uh, acquisition unit. We have uh, two instruments basically right now for, auto, for field testing, the Aquila and the Micro Aquila. These are operated uh, by technicians and testing engineers. They have both uh, TF map filtering uh, and the selectable acquisition function. We can use them for spot testing and uh, monitoring, but in this case, the Aquila is much more performant it's a, as a has a very be better performance in the monitoring because can last uh, uh, days uh, or weeks uh, connected to the acquisition unit and performing the sporadic acquisition every one hour, two hours, and so on. Such function is not uh, included in the micro -apula. Here we have some uh, uh, parameters, some specification of the signal of the of the um, sorry of the acquisition unit. You can see our bandwidth is uh, pretty high, 16 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. We have a 10-bit resolution and a sampling frequency of 100 mega sample per second. Both these uh, two instruments are normally sold uh, or offered anyways, together with a three days training that is uh, part of the service department uh, duty. We normally try to make two days uh, in the meeting room and one day of practice in the field possibly. If the field is not available, we can also make something with the PD simulator that is a, basically a, a device to simulate partial discharge phenomena enclosed in a travel, uh, travel bag. PD Pro software tool. Uh, we have done recently a webinar about the PD Pro. You can also find all the information on our website and I think also the uh, presentations as well. PD Pro basically gives us database functions. So we will have uh, the data very organized for each uh, generator, for each motor. We will have uh, data organized also by sensor used and uh, correlated with the time on the trending function. It includes obviously data acquisition function and PD data analysis tools. So it's the, let's say it's, it's designed to be used uh, in a site for spot measurement, then the data can be uh, stored uh, in a very ordinate DB and uh, all the information are at a glance visualized in the system. One uh, note is that if you already have one of our old system and you have uh, data with our old uh, softwares, you can upload, import the data in the new DB. Accessory. If our rotating machine, I've identified mainly three accessories that can be useful for the customer. The 80, 800, pico, 800 pico, far, pico coulomb uh, PD calibrator that generates a well-known charge PD signal. It's uh, EAC 60270 compliant. can be used for sensitivity test to test that everything is going on correctly from the uh, sensor up to the acquisition unit. We also have... Uh, quadrupole, those are used with the capacitors in order to get proper PD readings. We can customize also such quadrupoles to be used with the different uh, sensor. Those are not uh, produced by Tekim. And the uh, hardware filter kit. Especially rotating machines, uh, such hardware filter kit are uh, very useful. They can, let's say, give us, a, they can 
solve the problems for us of uh, filtering uh, noise in a very easy and uh, efficient way. Uh, testing solution then uh, the alpha, the one I was explaining to you. There are, it's a design from this, let's say, from uh, together with a service to get uh, uh, to, to give the chance to an ex an expert uh, and not skilled operators to make a very good PD measurement. Basically. There is a session of the software that uh, asks to the user the info about the test layout, are there uh, accessible uh, derivation box, uh, you know the, the brand of the sensor, and in case of different brands, we have different uh, configuration already set into the instrument. Gives instruction how to connect the uh, instrument to the sensor in like in the picture that you can see here this is part of the software once we have uh, collected all the information the instrument uh, gives the instruction how to connect the test then uh, we, uh, there is a acquisition data session it takes a while obviously because uh, it's not acquiring just one acquisition but a series of acquisition with the um, customized uh, uh, solution and uh, in the end, this data can be sent uh, to uh, the camp where our uh, PD analyst uh, will analyze the data and evaluate uh, the, az the hazard, the danger of the PD, and we will give a PD report with the traffic light normally. Now, permanent monitoring system, uh, those are the solutions that he was discussing at the beginning, Andre. Those are systems, those are permanently connected to permanently acquiring data from the sensor. So they are made by sensor acquisition unit and normally by a server. One server can include several monitoring systems from all the generators and motors. And we can also add the transformers, switch gears, both GIS that are inserted switch gears and um, transformers. The, how does it work? Why it's uh, nice to have a Tekimp uh, monitoring system? Basically, we don't, we, ju we don't just take the data, but we have put the same uh, idea, the same philosophy of data analysis also in the monitoring system. We have the analog sig signal coming from the sensor, the PD analog signal. Then uh, the, the signal enters the acquisition unit. In the acquisition unit, there is already the uh, TF map filtering capabilities, and we can filter out some of the signal that is uh, unwanted we don't want to save such signal and save what we want to bring into our data system the data will be then uh, study and let's say there is a process tool separate different uh, cluster of uh, points and to identify the single pd phenomena we provide the single pd phenomena in series and each one of these pd phenomena can provide an individual alarm phenomena this is the idea. Obviously, it's a very, let's say, just in one slide, it's not so clear, but this is just to share to you what is the, the philosophy beyond our permanent monitoring system. Use the same advantages we have with the online uh, spot testing brought into an automatic system that does not require uh, personal. We just will uh, we'll ju we'll just receive uh, individual alarms uh, by email or by SMS. Uh, and in case we can uh, check the data and study according to the data. These are the advantages of uh, permanent PD monitoring. We have the asset continuously under uh, working condition. It's a 24 seven PD assessment. We also have, uh, this is something that uh, I've seen that many of the customer appreciate. If we have the acquisition unit for the permanent monitoring, the same acquisition unit can be also used for spot testing with the, let's say more uh, manual software with the PD Pro, for example, we can have individual phenomena trends evaluation thanks to the TSCADA TF map separation. We have automatic and individual alarms. It can be integrated with other systems, also with the vibration, for example. And of course, the very bad part is that it's a bigger investment for the customer. I really thank you for your attention. I hope that. Uh, this uh, presentation has introduced to you this topic. At least uh, we have fixed some arguments, maybe some uh, information. 
that can be useful for you to, uh, let's say, going uh, deeper into the PD test of uh, generators and motors. Thank you. Goodbye.